Hey gang, today we're taking a look at Transformers Superlink Optimus Prime. Now this figure is a deluxe class figure. And originally this was a Japanese exclusive only. But this figure did see a US release along with a much smaller Megatron figure in a two-pack with it. There were Toys R Us exclusives. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box. And here we have Prime out of the box, or I'm sorry, Grand Convoy out of the box. Now, as you can see, it, it is the dumbest looking truck of all time. I, I do not know what the designers were thinking when they came up with this. Anyway, the big difference between this guy and his U.S. counterpart, the one that was released in the U.S., that is, is the paint scheme. Figures are the same, but the paint is much, much different. Now, here he is. Here's the figure compared to his USA Optimus Prime counterpart. Notice the difference in paint. Much brighter whites, much more lush reds, better blues, clear blues, chrome, just a lot of different paint schemes. Much better paint, in my opinion. So we'll put him off to the side. The gun is stored on the back of the figure. So we'll just pop that off. And it is... It's a nice looking gun, very Optimus-esque, so we'll just put that off to the side. And transformation is exactly the way you think it's going to be. Like I said, the transformation is the same as the larger version of the figure, except maybe just a little bit more cohesive. The biggest problem is getting the hands out of these holders. That's the worst part of the transformation. Now the head is something unique in that it's actually stored not in the chassis, but actually in where the helmet is. So I'll just get that and flip that up, and there we go, with his head cut off. Even to this day, I can't get over just how bad this robot mode is. I mean, this is just awful. It doesn't look good at all. It has very, very bad posability, and it just... Yeah, it's shiny and bright and colorful, but man, it just looks stupid. I mean, the head is way too small for the body. The He's got so much junk in the trunk, it's not even funny. I mean, it's not a good-looking figure at all. This is the only obese Transformer that I can even think of. Comparatively, both Optimus Primes are both Grand Convoys. The, neither of them look very good. Posability for this guy is somewhat limited just due to the massive bulk. But his head is attached to a ball joint, but it doesn't really have much up and down motion, but it can move side to side. Arms are on a ratchet joint in the shoulders, then an in and out ratchet, a hinge at the elbow, the hands do not move. There is a ratchet at the hip, there is some knee articulation, and a little bit of foot articulation. So what else can you do with this guy? Well, he does have the spark of combination, but before we get into that, for a size comparison, here's Inferno from the same toy line. Notice that Inferno is a significantly larger figure. I mean, not fatter, but just taller. In fact, all of the deluxes are bigger than this Prime. We'll start off with getting him into what is lovingly referred to as pants mode. To start, we'll take the head and rotate it back all the way, reach up to the top here and split the entire torso in half, like that, reveal, thus revealing the combination ports. Point the arms forward and then flip the fists in to, well, okay, flip them the other way, to reveal guns. The joints are tight. Next, fold out the rear of the vehicle, take this whole rear section, flip it around like that. Collapse the mask upon the head, and rotate that around and collapse it down. And here we have his pants mode. And then we just combine them up. Grand Convoy Pants Model! So yeah, here we have a Grand Convoy, or Prime, or whatever you want to call him, in pants mode. Looks absolutely ridiculous. 
So speaking of ridiculous, I did forget to do one little thing with the transformation, and that's slide these upper thighs uh, down into the bottom of the legs. Now, you can do that, but it makes the figure very, very um, top-heavy because there's nothing holding this joint together now. So, yeah. Makes it look just a little better, but not much. So returning his royal fatness to robot mode, what we're going to do is now do the shirt mode. And I know it's funny, but we're going to return him to his, co to his combining form. So we will move the shins down, or the thighs down, open his chest up, flip this part around, and get him leaving, leave him like this. Okay, so we take the, what we're going to do is take these side pieces and fold them down and out like that. Take the legs and fold, turn them and then fold them out like this. And take the feet and get them flush out like that. And then take the head, bring up the top of the mask, rotate this around, and connect it up like that. And then combine him with Inferno again. And there we go. So here we have shirts mode. It's not any better. In fact, it, it's a little worse. You can actually put minicons on these two ports right here. And then you could attach minicons there, and, and then he just looks stupid. But, yeah, it's not any better. Not any better at all, and in fact, it kind of sucks. So my final thought on this guy is just avoid this one at all costs. If you have to have an Optimus Prime or a Grand Convoy from the Superlink slash Energon toy line, get the big one. Yeah, it's not that great either, but... It's better than this.